boys. So in today's video, we are gonna start wrapping this junker black. And I have a very bent brake lever that we are going to replace with a new one that I have sitting at the shop. And while we're there, maybe I will take a wire brush and do some satisfied wire brushing on the heads for the 5.3 for the LS for the taco because those need to get wire brushed and then those are getting painted. The block is painted, the oil pan is on. Uh, I'm ordering some more parts right now. The heads will be on the way shortly. The cam should be coming soon. And I have the motor mount, so we're gonna try and actually mount this motor in the taco engine bay here soon. I just have to grind up some more stuff there quick, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that. Maybe I'll take care of that today, honestly, when I go over there, pick the grinder, finally clean those up and get those finished. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. But mostly, this will be videos on the clap box Honda with some parts of, you know, the truck. So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna get some stuff done here at the house, a little more renovations, and then we're gonna head over to the garage and get going on all that. So I have new handlebars too, and I need to do an oil change for this thing. These bars are bent because I looped my bike doing a wheelie, freaking eight shit doing like 40. That's how I bent this brake lever, bent the bars, so I just don't sit on here how it's supposed to. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to shift gears mid wheelie, and I was holding it at like 12 o'clock, and for some reason I thought it was gonna take me two to three business days to shift gears, which was not the case since I banged gears. So I freaking held it way up here thinking my tire was gonna drop when I was shifting, and I just hammered it into second and then throttled it. I just straight whiskey throttled it. I was just like, wah! So as soon as I let the clutch out, I was in second now, already holding it straight up and down in a wheelie, and I had done a clutch up, essentially. So as you can imagine, I just kept going backwards, and then I shot right off the bike. <laughs> my head at the ground and then I let go of the bike. Ah, I was hanging on. <laughs> it was so funny, but like, my knees were bleeding and I could cut right to the bone, both of them, and the palm of my hand. Got road rash pretty good because I was wearing sweatpants. Thankfully I had a leather jacket on though. I was wearing sweatpants and a leather jacket. So the arms were chilling, the legs, I ripped right through the pants, and obviously I wasn't wearing gloves. So, yeah. But all right, let's go. Today didn't go as planned. As you can see, I bought a CX-6R. Sorry guys, sorry to disappoint. has been like three days three this video did not age well brother it did not it really did not like chef boy rd for the win gotta have the reserve stash 
with sketchy jack stands because I'm like that. So, <laughs> I swear to God, the clutch in this thing is smoked. Swear to God. Here it is. Open. Um, yeah, so, knew the clutch was kind of going. The guy tried to hit me with this whole spiel about, it's a race clutch. Like, I don't know how clutch works. And uh, it was showing signs of being shot. And then I decided to let my buddy ride it around the block who said he knew how to ride a bike. And guess what? When he came back, Justin's bike had seven neutrals and no gears left in it. So, clutch. Didn't wrap this yet. As you can see, I'm about to start, finally. I did throw the new brake lever on. That shit looks tough. Now it matches with the new shifter. Nice and nice. I did clean the heads, like twice. So they're ready for paint. If I have any paint left, I'll probably put some coats on those. Ah! So yeah, it's not even been a week later. That thing's, that thing's broken already. Ah, I gotta love Marketplace, right? You win some, you lose some, okay? I don't know what you want from me, okay? I'm gonna make the best out of it. Don't trip. Um, yeah, but we're gonna actually try and, I don't know. I'm gonna end this video because it's shot and I'm gonna start another one. I'm just wrapping this, but yeah, I might work on these mounts too. So as you can see, uh, this is not sitting centered, but they're basically there. But the problem is I have to angle them downward so that I clear the differential there with the oil pan, cause that's really my big concern. So we're cutting brackets, brackets with that to make these work. You'll see that when it's done. That's another thing I'm cooking on. But hey, it's ending this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye.